what is up guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm here to show you this little makeup look I put together I haven't done anything makeup esque in a long time so I thought why not now but without further ado let's get into the video so the first thing I'm gonna do is just moisturize my face using the Curel daily moisture and it's very important because it is very hot outside and you just don't want your skin to be to dry out your foundation or anything like that and it's just nice to have your face just nice and smooth next I'm just going in with my Nivea Men Post Shave Balm and this is going to act as my primer just to ensure that my foundation sticks on my face all day long and I heard this primer or this product has been selling out and that's crazy because it was introduced to many people from by Nikki Tutorials here on YouTube and it's just crazy to see like the impact YouTubers have on people but that's pretty cool and once it's all tacky I'm going to apply some MAC strobe cream and this is just going to go under my foundation and then and this is going to be like just a highlight from under like a liquid highlight so like glow from within I'm just going to focus that on the places that I usually apply highlight but I'm also going to place this like all over my skin so I just have a just an all around glow next I'm going to take my Too Faced Born This Way foundation and this is in the shade Warm Beige the funny thing is I thought I was going to be a darker shade but I just have a problem where I think I'm darker than I really am but I'm actually pretty light and this has really good coverage and that's something that I really like about this foundation and it just ap applies so flawlessly on your skin like I have big pores like around my nose and my cheek area in some foundations like they'll like emphasize those those things and I'm not trying to do that okay next I'm going to be taking my NAR where it at Oh my goodness. My NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Ginger. Just dotting that under my eyes. And I just place it around my nose because I do have some redness. And then just taking my Real Technique sponge again and just blending that out. And to set that, I'm just going to be taking my CoverGirl, this CoverGirl, right? Yeah. My CoverGirl translucent powder. Swag. Alrighty, and now for brows, I'm just going to just, I'm just going to just, don't listen to me. Now I'm just going to comb my brows through. And first, I'm going to be taking my, I'm just all over. First, I'm going to be taking my Dip Out Prom, it's just one of those days. I'm going to be taking the Dip Out, Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Ebony. That took me long enough. And I'm just going to be filling in the ends of my brows. And now I'm going to be going in with the um, the powder, and this is in the shade Dark Brown. And with this product, I'm only going midway through the brow because I saved the front of the brow. No, I saved the lighter powder for the front of the brow. So it has like a gradient effect. So I'm taking the lighter brown and just filling in the front very lightly. Just and you just want to make sure that it blends in with the rest of the brow as well. Mm -hmm. 
now I'm actually going in I'm going back in with that dark brown and just lightly just drawing some little strokes to imitate just pieces of hair because your girl is not blessed with full brows so she gotta she gotta give her own she gotta get her own and now I'm taking my pixie duo and the brow gel that comes with it and just setting the hair and then this part is optional but I love doing this to make sure that my brows look crisp I'm taking my concealer this is the Maybelline master conceal in the shade light and taking the smallest amount and just placing that right underneath I actually took a lot more than I should have but I'm just taking that slowly working my way up there I don't want to I don't want to focus the product too much underneath the brow. So yeah, and then just make sure you blend it out so it doesn't look too crazy. I know my brows look a little bold right now, but trust me, it will all match once I get the, you know, the whole eyeshadow going. So to start that off, I'm going to be taking my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. Just place it on the lids. This is really useful to just blank out any redness that I may have or veins that I have on my eyelids. And it also helps the eyeshadow last all day long, but you can also just use concealer if you don't have this. And now I'm taking that powder brush that we used earlier for the to set my under eyes and now I'm just going to set that just to make sure that it doesn't crease or that and so that the eyeshadows blend better. And today I'm going to be using my Too Faced Natural Matte Palette. I love this palette. And the first color I'm going to be using is Honey Butter. I'm just using that as our first transition shade. Now I'm going in with the shade Nude and a little bit of Honey Butter and just focusing that on the crease and the lid. And now I'm going in with Chocolate Cookie which is like this orange brown shade and just focusing that on the lower lid and then blending upward. got really dark let me see if I open the blinds if that helps probably not it's pretty cloudy today so I apologize if the lighting goes in and out I've got no control on that mother nature and now I'm going to be taking chocolate and now I'm going to be taking chocolate cookie once again and placing that under the lash line and now I'm taking um, se Sexpresso, it's inappropriate, but yeah, I'm taking that and just also adding it to the low lash line to add more depth, just make it a little more smoky. So, yes, and now I'm going in with lashes, my favorite part, and today I'm going to be using the Coco Lashes in the style Goddess. These lashes are so good, honestly, and they're only like, they're only six bucks. Like, you can't get any better than that. But come on now, these lashes, somebody. When I first bought them, I thought they'd be too intense because I do got those small eyes, but I love them. I'm obsessed. And now I'm just taking some mascara and just putting it on the bottom lashes. Now I'm taking my Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette, and I'm just going in with the lightest shade. Right here. I just cracked my neck whipping my hair. <laughs> and 
And now I'm taking the cooler color right here. Sorry. Taking the cooler shade. Just to add more depth. Taking that on the jawline as well. Get rid of that double chin, girl. And now I'm taking a fluffy brush and taking that cool tone once again and play and contouring my nose. And a bottom of the lip. Sweet. And now for the best part for real, highlight. I'm taking some Max Fix Max. Max Fix Fix Plus and just spraying my brush a little. And taking my Becca Opal Highlight. The best. Just Sometimes I feel like my my highlight is more intense on one side than the other. So now I gotta make sure that it's evenly glowing. And I kind of do the C motion right here. And now I'm just placing them on my nose, bridge of my nose, and some on my forehead just to add a glow everywhere. Just be glowing, you know. And for lips today, I'm just going to be going in with my favorite MAC lipstick. The name is Whirl. I just think it's a really good everyday color. I have a really bad habit of not lining my lips before, but YOLO. And to add some dimension, I'm taking my London um, soft matte lip cream. And now I'm just finishing off with some MAC Fix Plus. Where? Sometimes I just completely miss my face. And that's the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and comment down below any videos you guys would like to see. And make sure you guys hit that subscribe button because I do post every single Monday. Until then, you can catch me on my other social media, which will be linked down below and will be featured at the end of the video. But until then, I'll see you guys in my next video.